Hello everyone. Now I am explaining about the MATLAB Simulink code for FFTR algorithm. Yeah. To do the FFT algorithm by using Simulink, using Simulink, we will need totally five components. Okay. That is sine wave, then zero order volt, then buffer then fft then gain absolute and to show the output we need vector scope <coughs> now to open the simulinks in matlab go to home then a uh, simulinks library will be there click on one window will open we need one blank or new simulinks window or file model then put new then model <coughs> then one window will open like this uh, now we need sine wave the input signal always be in the source okay in the library simulinks browser here scroll down here we have the sine wave drag it to the blank page then as i told we need zero order hold zero order hold will get in this screen yeah here we have the zero order hold then drag it into the blank page then we need buffer if you want buffer we supposed to go for dsp system toolbox then signal management here buffer is drag it the buffer to here then we need fft algorithm here only it is a transform transforms fft transforms like that here we will get the fft drag it to into this one blank page then we need gain gain will get in math operations here we'll get gain okay here it is drag it then we need absolute drag it to absolute also then we need vector scope vector scope will get in dsp system toolbox this is the output in sinks we'll get every output command tool yeah drag it into this then uh, maximize this to a blank page then connect it everything as orders then from buffer to fft to go then fft to gain from gain to absolute then absolute to vector scope yeah connection is done now we need to change the specifications of each and every block go for sine wave here we have now it is sine test time based only the amplitude and the action they will give uh, they will give the specifications for example i am taking amplitude as 8 then frequency 2 pi 2 pi 1 e power e power minus 3 now then press and apply then ok for 0 harder hold we want to give 1 e power minus 5 yeah then same thing apply ok the buffer range they will give 1024 uh, I am taking 1024 in then apply then ok then FFT then in FFT we don't want to change any specifications it already in build transform then gain we are supposed to change the buffer buffer value should be 1 by 
buffer the value the gain value should be 1 by buffer value so 1 divided by 1024 then apply then okay then vector scope then vector scope we want to change the specifications here we are doing the frequency then input domain we are getting the frequency then access properties properties here frequency range should be minus fs by 2 to plus fs by 2 it is auto then y axis scaling should be in magnitude then here y axis label should be magnitude then apply ok after that we need to save the program for example we are saving this one this file as uh, for example nc yeah save then run the program uh, it's running actually we get the sine wave amplitude is 8 now we need to get the waveform Actually, some specifications went something wrong. Uh, so we need to change the specifications of your uh, sine wave. Yeah, just close. Then here we have zero. Okay. Then open that. Yeah. NC file. Now double click on sign just or uh, it should be in positive so apply okay we'll see whether we'll get on yeah it's coming see it's coming here actually it is going here because of some small thing we can zoom this one Oh, see here also it is flowing some small aroma yeah it's nearly four so the amplitude should be off of the what we gave for the sine wave this is the experiment for FFT by using simulates please like the video and also share it to all engineers also please subscribe thanks a lot for watching kk videos